morning everybody good morning good morning tanya celeste thank you guys for being here good morning to you rolita good morning yannick hey i see you brother how are you this morning tiffany good morning good morning thank you guys for being here uh for all my replayers good morning good evening wherever you might be watching us on the replay appreciate you coming back and checking us out thank you king thank you tiffany good morning um and to all you who are here with me live and in memorex or whatever that saying is i want to welcome you as well do me a favor guys before we get started go ahead and share it out we're going to be um talking about a new law today and how you can use that in your marketing right so if you don't know i'm sensei sabir i'm here pretty much monday through friday i did give myself yesterday off you can do that when you run your own business, y'all. You can just decide, I'm taking the day off now. Did I totally take it off? Actually, I did not. I did work pretty much, um, well, I'm not gonna say how many hours. I worked a lot yesterday, but it was uh, it was beautiful. I didn't go live, I just kind of chilled. And uh, you can do that. You know, Like I said, when you work for yourself, you can kind of construct your day to uh, what you need. So I, I, spent the day catching up a lot hey max hey sips catching up on um a lot of uh outstanding deliverables so that's what i did yesterday hopefully you guys enjoy the day it's like already 88 cr crazy freaking degrees here in maryland and uh, i'm enjoying it so it's all good it's all good so guys let's jump right in again thank you for sharing in advance um we're going to talk about, like I said, the law of supply, how you can use this in your business. Okay. Uh, let's see. You worked. <laughs> so let's say she worked on her business from sunup to way past sundown. But you know what? That's what we do. You know, there's times that's the beauty that actually Celeste, it segues directly into what we're going to talk about today. So. Um, normally what we hear is um, supply and demand, supply and demand. That's what they talked about in college and all those um, economics classes, et cetera, et cetera. Good morning, Jay. Um, and what I have come to learn in my business and just being an adult and actually looking at the world around me, it's the people that actually place a demand on their environment that reap rewards and and let's look at, at nature for instance right the more of, of a demand that is pressed placed on nature hey greg how are you my love the more that comes out so let's let's look at um a wildfire so this is the example i found when i was doing my research for this conversation today so did you guys know nature is amazing that a wildfire actually travels faster uphill than it does going down. I had no idea about this. Greg, you're in California, you might know this. I did not know this. And I spent pretty much all my life in California, but I was young, I didn't know. Aisha, what's up? Reese, good morning, good morning, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm seeing the shares go out and I'm appreciative, thank you, thank you, thank you. So in nature, you're gonna appreciate this, Reese. Again, what I'm talking about right now is supply and demand. And I really want to look at the supply side. And it comes because a demand is placed on it. So what a wildfire does is it actually sends, I can't remember what it is, sends, it, it basically fuels itself as it's going up. It prepares the, the space for it up the hill that it'll have fuel as it's climbing up the hill and you know doing what it's doing its thing 
How does that relate to us? How does that relate to us? Grasshoppers, come closely and listen. Come closely and listen, okay? If you do not put a demand on your environment, on your business, it will not grow. As a matter of fact, what will happen is that it will atrophy. It will, it will cease to grow and atrophy leads to death. So we have to put a demand for the supply. Okay. Again, it is not supply and demand. It is demand and then supply. And I want to drive this home because guys, a lot of times our business, if you like that Reese grasshoppers, our, our business is not, we're not able to be attractive in the environment. In other words, have nature respond to us because nature is only going to respond the way nature responds. That nature dictates the law guys. So we have to learn these laws if you're going to truly be successful and not be struggling, right? The only way to do that is to understand these laws. So we want to put a demand, meaning when I come in my office in the morning, I am demanding from my mind that certain things be created during the day. I am demanding a supply come out, uh, yes, th that a supply be provided to me, meaning that the marketplace would respond to me. How do I do that, guys? There is a yin and there is yang. So I told you guys the first thing I do in the morning is my meditation, my silence, my journaling, a little bit of movement, etc. That is the feminine. The masculine is the get in and do, demand. Get in and do, get in and create content for you guys, right? You have to be able to move between both and you have to be able to place the demand on the supply. The supply side is there and it's waiting, but if you don't ask for it, you're not going to get it, right? And it goes beyond asking. That's a very gentle word. It's actually, if you don't demand it, if you don't stand up in authority, in your business and in your life, if you don't train your mind. Yesterday, I was so tempted to just like chill and relax, but it was this beautiful space where I could create. It was quiet, right? There was nobody around. It was, it was this beautiful like almost an incubator where I could go in and I could think, I could think, what do I need to create? What is it that I want to see happen in my business? How can I serve more? And ideas started coming to me and now I'm going to do that work. So yesterday was a day of kind of cleaning up, seeing the topography, you know, I was talking about the hill, and the fire climbing uphill. Yes, Reese, that's it right there. You have to train your mind to constant, to demand. Train your mind to create. Train your mind to create. As long, your mind is always creating. Let me say this more accurately. Train your mind to create that which you desire so that you can serve more right? Sometimes creating what you desire means an infrastructure to deliver that which you create. Sometimes it's just, I don't have any ideas right now. Where can I get some ideas that I need to go and read? But you have to keep yourself constantly in a state of awareness to the creativity, which is I am placing a demand on the universe. Bring to me more ideas. I read this, um, this story about a drone, right? You know, the drones, the beehives, they go out and they're collecting and bringing back honey and putting it into the hive. Well, check out what happens. If you get a lazy drone, right? There's a drone that's like, I'm not working today. Mm -mm. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. I'm not working. What ends up happening? 
Mother Nature impresses upon the other drones in the family, the hive or what have you. It impresses upon the other drones to kind of double up their work. So it gives them places more demand on them, right? Those other drones will pick up the slack from the drone that isn't working. They'll get it done. Bring all the, the honey into the hive, make it full. And then what does Mother Nature do with the, with the drone that isn't working? It impresses upon the, the drones that did work to take that non-working drone, the one that's not actually placing a demand on the supply that exists in the environment. Go, you're supposed to go get that honey, <laughs> right? Make that honey, with however it is they do it. I'm not a bee person, I don't know, but this is what I remember of the story I read. So Mother Nature will say, y'all go get her. Hey, Lisa, good morning. Go get that drone that isn't working. And actually they sting the non-demanding the non bee, the non-demanding drone, the other ones sting it to death. Guys, this is what happens to us. Our ideas that we don't continually think about, that we know this is our purpose, and we get lazy and we're like, I'm not gonna do my morning practice. I'm not gonna journal. I'm not gonna create content today. I'm not gonna, whatever it is that your demand is supposed to be on the universe, we all have a role to play. When you stop placing that demand on the universe, what happens is those ideas will eventually atrophy. As I said in the beginning, they will die down. Yeah, that's what happens, Reese. Those ideas just basically die down and the ones, the people around you who are placing a demand in the universe, are placing a demand on the supply, their energy and magnetism and attraction is just gonna rise. It's just gonna go up. You're gonna go off to the wayside and just like, oh, I'm not getting what I need. My business isn't growing. No one's coming to me. No one's calling me. No one's attract. That's why. You have to keep putting in the work. I'm sorry to tell you. The work is the demand. And when you stop, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna look around and see why is everybody else seem to be succeeding? Why are they? Why is their life turning out? This because whatever it is they're doing, a part of what they're doing is a constant demand on the supply, a constant demand on the environment to give it what it is demanding. That requires that you stand up in authority in your life, in your business. It requires that you stand up and you take a position of authority, not asking, not begging, not pleading. You are demanding a supply because you know it already exists. There's nothing new created under the sun. You've heard that. Ah, did y'all get that? <laughs> there is nothing new created under the sun, y'all. Everything is recycled, retooled, reused by those who are placing a demand on it. And everything just keeps like building up. We went from horse and buggy to, you know, a different kind of car to these, you know, basically rockets and, and stuff. Things just keep expanding and growing. But those ideas only come to the people that are placing a demand on their environment, okay? So whatever you do, guys, do not entertain half-truths. Do not, don't get lazy. Like build in your rest periods, okay? Yesterday is a great day to take advantage of that and chill. And if you did that, awesome. And then it's time to put your, put your foot back on the gas and get back to work because we all have an important role to play in the marketplace. I thought when I was sick that I was not, you know, there was nothing I had to give. There was no value I had to give anymore. I was dying, guys. I was dying. In, on my deathbed, that's where I found my purpose. And that's the craziest thing. Why? Because more than ever, I demanded life. 
I demanded life show up for me. I wasn't ready to die. I said I hadn't done what I came to the planet to do. And I demanded that life give me more life. But my role now is, okay, the supply has come. The ideas are here. The marketplace is listening, Sabira. So stand up and say what you came to the planet to say. Do what you came to the planet to do. Y'all get that? <laughs> if you guys, that'll drop on y'all a little later. That'll drop on you at like three o'clock in the morning. You'll wake up like, oh, I get it. I get what Sensei was saying. It's okay. Let it let it sink in. Let it simmer. <laughs> y'all got have any questions? I know that was a little heavy. Some people have um. Yeah, I demanded more life of my life. Yeah, I did. I did, Reese. Mm. So guys, some people have um, contacted me over the last couple of weeks and been asking that they want to take this deeper. I don't know if you guys would want to go deeper into these laws and actually look at the mechanics of how to put them, um, activate them in your business. If you would, you get it, Lisa? If you would, do me a favor. Type in the um, in the comment section below. Just roar. Just type a roar or put a lion emoji. Give me a lion emoji and type roar. If you would like to actually look at these and go a little bit deeper, I'm thinking about actually creating a course around this for, for people who would be interested in something like this. I'm telling you, it'll make your work so much easier. So often we are, hey, how are you? Good morning. Kaiba, 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 Kaiba. Okay. Um, it has made my, my work so much easier. Understanding how just the, the basic law of attraction, which is so common because people talk about it all the time, but nobody really breaks it down. Um, or they break it down and they leave things out or they lead us to believe it's just sitting in like oming or something and then everything you want is just going to come because you just meditate on it. Y'all, that is not how life works. That is not it at all. This supply side and the demand side are important for you to understand. That piece of taking action, of doing the work, mentally and then physically doing the work placing that demand is so important so anyway let me know if you guys give me feedback um replayer same thing let me know that this is something you want more of and um and i'll i'll create a class around it for you and we can um we can dive into this a little bit deeper but you know i'm gonna keep this is what i'm gonna keep talking about so that you guys can really get a good understanding. So do me a favor, guys. If you have a business, drop your link. Drop your link in here right now so we can connect. Everybody can find what they need. People can connect with each other. Again, if you are an entrepreneur and you have a link to your business, product, service, and you want people to know about it, guys, this is the place to come in the morning at 830. Okay? Drop your links here so folks can find you. I know Tanya's on here. Awesome massage therapist out there in New Orleans. We got Jay. We got uh, Lisa. We got Reese, Sips, Rolita. Guys, drop your links here. Let folks know who you are, where you are, where they can find you. And uh, let's let the connections continue, all right? Keep placing that demand on the supply, on your environment. You don't have to do these prayers that are, oh, you couldn't find a lion? <laughs> okay. Give me a roar then. Give me a roar and I'll know that's what you mean. Okay. So you guys, I want you to go out and create a beautiful day. Again, if you're just joining, I'm Sensei Sabira coming to you Monday through Friday, except if there's a holiday, I might not come on. I give myself the right to chill, which I did yesterday. Um, but I'm on here every day, Monday through Friday, pretty much 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're talking about the universal laws, putting the universal laws, integrating those with this beautiful, 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 I call it a, an art 
a lifestyle, a way of being called attraction marketing. Guys, when I got up from what was my deathbed, when I got up from what I thought was my deathbed, and I came to understand the law of attraction and how that was operating through me, even while I was on my deathbed. When I got up and I realized that I could actually go into the marketplace that I had experienced something valuable in that I literally had a near-death experience. I have gone through something valuable that very few people get to the, um, the doorway of, walk through to the other side and live to talk about it. And so I can actually support people in living a more full life. How to take your story of what you've experienced, what you've lived through, and use that to help other people. So that's what I'm about. What are you about? What are you about? That's what I want to know. So put your links here, guys. Let folks know where you are and what you're about so that those you can connect with those people who are looking for you. You are looking for people who are looking for you. Come here, drop your links, and I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks so much for your time, your attention, and for your shares. Love it so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.